Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a back to basics video and this is episode number seven or six. This is a series where I show you guys different like makeup techniques and just breaking down the basics of makeup and for today's tutorial we're going to be talking about nose contouring so I know this can sometimes be a very touchy subject for some people especially because I'm a woman of color and um, people always assume that you know whenever you do nose contouring videos you want to be more European that's not the case here um, I just like to contour my nose because I feel like it just kind of goes with the whole glam transformation thing I have going on so and yeah I just I like it so hey anyways if you like to learn um, my tips and tricks and stuff that I like to do to make my nose look snatched stay tuned for this video I hope you guys enjoy okay so when you're contouring your nose of course you want to put on your foundation now I'm going to be applying some concealer so you guys already know contouring and highlighting is all about illusions right your nose is not automatically going to become slimmer or more straight you just have to play with shadows and light and basically try and achieve that look for yourself so um, we're going to just highlight and basically bring the concealer down to the side of the nose right here. So instead of stopping the concealer right here, um, you want to take it all the way to the side. And what this does, it basically gives the illusion of this side here being part of your under eye rather than your actual nose. So then we're going to just highlight the bridge of the nose. What this is going to do is, it's going to make the bridge of the nose stand out more. So that way the sides that we're going to contour sinks in but the bridge stands out. So that way it looks, it gives the illusion of it being slimmer from afar. Okay, makes sense. So then we're just going to just connect this. And just basically highlight the um, forehead as well. So now, after applying that, you want to apply your contour. Basically run this down the sides of my nose. Like so. So now to blend. I'm going to go in with a beauty blender and I'm going to just start by blending out the highlighted areas first. Now I'm trying not to get into the contoured areas because you don't want it to kind of mix together. You want every like all of them to kind of stay in their place. So then just blend it out. So now you want to squeeze your beauty blender to kind of get to the bridge of the nose. Okay, so that's the highlight blended. Now we're going to go ahead and blend out the contour. So now to blend out my contour, I'm going in with the Sigma 3D HD Precision brush. And I'm just going to basically run this down the sides of my nose. Because this has nice, like, densely packed bristles, it's going to just help me blend it out as I go along. So you just want to make sure you use a small brush as well just because like I said you don't want the product to move around and everything basically mixes together. And you want to just blend downwards this way. And then you want to just blend it going upwards into the brow, into the eyebrow. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to go back in with my Beauty Blender again. And I'm going to just take some of my concealer and I'm going to just apply this to the sides of the nose again. And then just blend that out. And you want to go back in with your contour blending brush again. Just reinforce that contour. Now go back in with your beauty blender and just blend this harsh line between the highlight and the contour. And we're just going to reapply that highlight again. When I blend, I reapply, I blend, I reapply. That way it looks the most natural. So 
So now the next step is with your setting powder. This also makes another huge difference. You want to grab a setting powder of your choice. I'm using the Patrick Star um, setting powder. I absolutely love this powder. It's beautiful. So I'm taking this powder with my beauty blender and I'm just going to apply this on the exact same area as where I put the highlighting concealer. Okay, so starting from the side of my nose. I'm going to just use that to set the contour in place. And of course, you want to do this just normally in your routine so your contour doesn't crease. But yeah, the important thing is to make sure you bring it to the side of your nose. All right, my love, so the next step now is to contour. <sighs> I'm really sad, you guys, because. Every single thing that I use in this video is from Tarte because I genuinely actually love their products. I don't know why they had to just mess everything up. But yeah, I'm going to be using the Tartius Contour Palette. It's the only um, shade that I found to work perfectly for my nose contouring. I've used other stuff for contouring my face that work just fine. But nose contouring especially, just because I don't like it to be too, too dark or too warm or too cool tone. This uh, shade is just like a perfect in between color. So it's gonna be this one. So this is the original um, contour kit. So I'm just using the lighter contour shade in this palette and I'm going to just use that to contour my nose. And I'm using this brush from BH Cosmetics. This brush is also um, a game changer for me. It's a very densely packed brush but it has a nice C shape to it. So it just really helps to get in this area and just contour the nose really nicely for me. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to be grabbing the contour powder and I'm just going to be running this down the sides of my nose, like so. And then like I said, you want to just blend this into the eyebrow, like so. And then just do the same thing on the other side. So, now you want to just go back in with your beauty blender that has some leftover powder in it and just press that into the skin. Just kind of blend everything together so it gives you like a soft focus kind of effect. Okay, so now I'm going to just highlight my nose and this is also just going to reinforce that um, like slimmer appearance and I'm just going to be going in with Low Getter Highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just using this on my finger and I just like to apply this to the tip of my nose just like this. Um, try not to overdo it though because sometimes it can look a little crazy if you put too much. And just blend that out like so. Then I apply a little bit down the center of the nose. Okay, so this is basically all I do to contour my nose. And um, yeah, I found this technique to really work and be the most effective. And um, you know, I'm still learning, of course, as I pick up new tricks. I'll definitely share them with you guys in maybe an updated video later on. Um, but so far, this is what I found to work for me. So and yeah, I'll insert like a little before and after of what my nose looks like and how it looks like now. And you guys can just tell me your thoughts and what you think. I hope this video was helpful. If you haven't already watched my other Back to Basic videos, you can check them out right here. I have one on how to blend your eyeshadow like a pro, which is right here. I also have one on how to apply false eyelashes, which is right below it. And um, I have a, more other videos on gel liner, liquid liner foundation, highlights and contouring and basically all that jazz. And yes, yeah, so if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!